Next news is out of Chechnya, Russia. Survivors of Chechnya's homophobic purge reveal what happened to them. Former detainees of Chechnya's homophobic purge have revealed what happened to them to Human Rights Watch. One remembers a torture named Carousel, where security officials put you face down on the floor and beat you with pipes. There is also the homemade electric chair, endless beatings, and being locked in a cage without food. Um, so, so that you guys know what's going on here, in Chechnya, they did do a roundup of homosexuals and kind of put them into a detainment camp where they were forced to endure absolute horrible torture um you know the mention of this carousel here and and the electric chair was kind of nothing in comparison to what they actually did they called them every single homophobic name in the book they um they when the officers would get tired of beating these people they would force other prisoners to take over while they took a break and then they'd go back to to beating them uh just because they're gay so this is um this is one of the just one of the biggest uh, disappointments in our world to date, and I'm just so happy that people survived this. Wait, so this this is one of those things that is not getting it enough attention. This is no, huge. It's not. The numbers that we're talking here is also huge. These are some of the stuff. Some of the, this is one of the things in the, on the list that we need to add that is astronom. This is like a human rights violation. On, a, on a, such a high level that is getting nearly not as much attention as some of the uh, you can tell which one which um, human rights violations gets at more attention the ones that actually s serve someone's political agenda like fits right into their narratives just just fits right there right and that gets all the attention that they want but stuff like this is not getting the attention it deserves do you have any idea about the numbers that are being held in Ch uh, of people being held in Chechnya before being gay well, uh, it, it varies, and people get released, um, you know, on weekly basis. One guy talks about spending eleven days there, uh, and he was he was being held in the same area with forty to fifty other people just during that one time. Um, so it's hard right now to say exactly how many people they have detained in these camps. Um, but the, the estimates were huge. Huge. The estimates are huge. Yeah, this is okay. We need to talk about this more. Maybe I don't know. Maybe this should be the cause that we that we highlight. Again, guys, join Atheist Republic as a member and help us figure out which which cause we want to uh, fight against next. But this is and really it, insane. Just just to kind of read to you guys and how they're doing this to people. How are they rounding rounding up these homosexuals? It's not that people are out in the streets having sex or anything like that. And it's obvious and they spot them and say, aha, you're gay. Um, one 20 year old university student was lured by an officer posing as a potential date. After driving for 30 minutes, the officer posing as a gay man drove off the road into a field. Three security officials in black uniforms were waiting for us there. He said, I understood everything. As soon as I saw them, I begged him to turn back. I cried but he pushed me out of the car. They beat me, kicked me, and punched me in the face. They stripped me naked and filmed me on a cell phone as they gave running commentary about having caught a derogatory term. Um, this, this is the kind of stuff that these people are facing. This isn't, okay. they're being lured into this. They're being trapped into this. They're being just abused beyond words. Okay, and, and, and Chechnya is an Islamic country. How much? Um, how much of this? I mean, I know homophobia it still exists without uh, Islam as well. But how much of this is because of Islam? Um, I thought all this was because of. Yeah, actually, I'm seeing. Okay, so I see um, here the fact it retains some. Uh, here, where is, it, where, is it, where is it? The head of the Czech, uh, the Czech, uh, the Czechian Republic, Ramzan, has brought Islam to the fore of Chechnya's daily life, and gay people who reveal their sexuality are often discriminated against and shunned by their families. So yeah, they are saying that this is because Islam. And this is, by the way, this the, this this motherfucker has Putin's support. By the way. Well, and that's that's what I was thinking. This whole thing was about. Uh, I thought this was all over pleasing Putin. No, 
I mean, no, it's more about they want to go, they want to crack down on gay people. Putin is like, yeah, go ahead, I'll support you. Uh, it's not, it's not the other way around because no, I mean, Russia doesn't have. I mean, Russia is very homophobic itself, but they don't go, yeah. they don't go out of their way to, to. Why would Russia do want to do something like that? Like they don't, they don't do shit like this. Even even though it is a very homophobic country, that um, but Chech but but because of the strategic um, relationship they have with each other, Russia supports this. Not because Russia is after gay people, um, but why are they doing this? Like, is what I mean. I understand that this is again a lot of times things that just seem randomly insane. There is some political motivation somewhere. I'm just trying to figure out how. Uh, what is the? It's not like chaotic evil. It's like you know strategic evil. Right. So I'm trying to figure out like what is the game here that they're playing. I don't understand. Are they like? Is there is homophobia so common in Chechnya that this gets them votes or something like that? I don't. I mean, they don't need votes. They are fucking. I don't understand. Like, can somebody with Somebody tell us why strategically somebody would do something like this because they're not just it's it's not like even in Iran there are a lot of gay people in Iran right and so far like more than 3000 people have been hanged for being gay but somebody has to go out of their way to report you like there are a lot of gay people in Iran that just like are quiet about it and they just tell their friends and they have this underground community uh, and most of them don't get caught um, like the ones that do ended up getting very unlucky or somebody had really a grudge on them and just went out of their way to report them to authorities. But it seems like Chechnya is like not only they're not waiting for reports, they're actively going after people. So right. I, I, I'm just I don't understand what's going on here. Um, so Pan is saying, wasn't there an anti homosexual concentration camp in Chechnya? Yes, they were holding them in camps. Uh, B just saying. It keeps people focused on something other than government corruption, etc. Yeah, Beach, that's a very uh, that's a very plausible theory, you know. Because we when you need people to lose focus on all the shit that you're doing, you just you just wage war on something that was never a threat to begin with. Uh, Chris is saying Chechnya is predominantly Muslim, ultra-conservative society in which homophobia is widespread and homosexuality is taboo. Yeah, so then maybe they're just uh, appealing to their what and to the community, to the people. Chrissy saying, cried so much while researching this story. Ah, Chrissy crying again. This story needs every voice. Everyone who can help needs to do their part. These are our brothers and sisters. Oh, Christy, you're right. We need to we need to focus on this story more. This is huge. This is not like a yeah. This is yeah. Pakistani atheists say the leader of Chechnya stated that there is not a single homosexual of Chechnya. Yeah, they did say that. This is very similar to what the president of Iran said a couple of years ago, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, that there is no uh, gay people in Iran. Which made that was very embarrassing for Iran, but this is that got a lot of attention. I don't know why this is not getting that much attention. Mark is saying, "Oh, so the fucking leftists have finally started to take notice of this." Wait, is Mark think? Does Mark is calling atheist republic leftist, or is the publication gay star? No, gay. This public. I think this website always covers this. Um, yeah, okay, so yeah, good job, Mark. We're even when people are being killed, like being tortured, you still have to make this about US politics somehow. Um, yeah, that country is beyond fucked. Somebody saying another comment saying, so there were survive, so there were survivors. Um, I don't know what your point is there. Is there anything like human rights in Russia? Okay, let's go to the Oh, Christy has a new slash. Gay, pe uh, gay people are in every single town, city, state, and country. We are everywhere. Yes, you are. Um, okay, Ali, do you want to add anything? Oh, wait. You've always saying something on Facebook live chat. Sorry, guys. I should pay more attention to... Thank you for mentioning Atheist Republic. Well, that makes it easier for me to see. Uh, you will say it's a way to show people how government deals with people they don't like. 
oh, so you all think this is a signaling tactic as a way to demonstrate to other opposition members that look, this is this is what we're capable of. Bobby saying the same way Trump gets votes, stokes up people fears and find a vulnerable scapegoat. Yeah, Bob, Bobby, you might be right, but but I do think that whenever like not bring it back to the U.S. when shit is happening somewhere is a somewhere sometimes a good idea because yeah. Anyways, Khalid is saying anything with gay in its domain name, I am skeptical. Well, I mean. You, it's fine. Okay, so they they're saying that they have a the gay gay star news, or uh, you're skeptical because they have gay. Well, why? I mean, yeah, be skeptical of every news, not just this news. But I don't mind a website having uh, advoc. I mean, I appreciate a website uh, advocating for the rights of gay people around the world. This is a good thing, not a bad thing. But if you want to be skeptical about it, don't be skeptical just with this news, be skeptical with every news. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.